Okay, this is going to be a quick review of my latest arsenal to me making future videos. Um, these are, I guess you could say, um, sunglasses. They're camera, they're high definition um, sunglasses. And it's got the little camera right there in the center and little controls right there on the side. It's also got a remote control that you can use for recording um, just by remote control. Um, comes a little carrying case and a little cleaning cloth. And this is the box. It's basically, um, I don't know, just uh, there's no real actual name other than it's a high definition uh, sunglasses video camera. Um, I ordered this from Amazon and it was actually coming from China and yeah I guess you should be careful ordering from overseas. I mean overall it seems to work fine um, but it took like two months to get here because I ordered it on June 22nd and it arrived on August 22nd so exactly two months. It took about six weeks to get across the pond I guess and then it spent a week in New York City and then another week in New Jersey before it finally arrived at my door but this is some of the highlights of it um, you know let you pause it and read it you know what all it can do and everything um, but I mostly bought it for you know if I'm driving especially if I go to Mexico um, I don't like to hold the camera that I'm using my flip video and then while I'm driving at the same time because it's I lose concentration you know when I should be paying more attention to the road so to speak where these I can just wear them and record as I drive so yeah another thing looks like it comes with a couple extra batteries I guess that's for the remote control so that's awfully nice of them to send two extra batteries but uh, yeah, so I've been playing with this thing, and so far, um, one of the big issues I'm running across is that I'm having trouble trying to get this to recognize in Windows 7. Um, it basically says it's compatible with uh, Windows XP, uh, Vista, and all that. Um, but for some reason, you know, it's really been a pain trying to get this thing to um, get recognized on the computer. Uh, it took a little bit, but I finally got it to work on my laptop, so I'm able to at least pull files off of it there, which is a plus because I take my laptop to Mexico with me too. But on my Windows 7 computer, it uh, seems to be having some issues where um, it does not want to recognize the camera. It is, and it's a USB unknown device. Um, so basically, if, you know, if I can get it here, but the file is STK03N and that's the software um, that's recommended or comes with the, the sunglasses camera here to um, you know help you edit your software and all that stuff I presume but I have not been able to get it to work or come up when I plug it into my computer this is the cable they sent me it's got the USB end and then this little end that connects into the bottom of the camera this little port right here and plug that in and that's supposed to you know plug into your computer and pull your files off but as I said I don't know if it's just this particular model or you know if this is a common issue but um, I'm just having a real fit trying to get the files to recognize or open up on Windows 7 but I have been able to get it to work on XP so might want to do a little research if uh, you want to get something like this to Make sure it's Windows 7 compatible, and of course, if you're ordering it, you know, online, make sure you get it from somewhere in the United States instead of overseas in China, where you have to, if you're not in a hurry to get it, you know, like I said, this took exactly two months to receive, so, but. Okay, so yeah, if you notice, you see that little blue light flashing, that's in a pause mode right now, and I got my little remote control here that uh, you can use it for. Um, turning it on. Let me get my camera set here. And now it's solid blue, so it should be recording. And can't really tell, you know, until I download the file. But uh, 
Yep, and then use the remote control again to pause it. And a little button here that's um, for play or pause. And push that button down to turn it off, and the light is out. So, yep, see if I can get this to this file to download. Okay, so here I am at my laptop, and again, this cord is pretty short, so I'm just kind of having to set it here while I try to connect it and yeah, connect it into my laptop right here. And it should detect. Yeah, okay, so this is the message I've been getting. Even on XP, it's a little finicky. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to want to recognize it. I, mean, I have to kind of unplug it and plug it back in and see if it'll uh, detect it. Okay, so I'm basically turning it back on right now. And then I'll try to reconnect it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, I'm still getting that little pop-up. It was working fine when it was off video, and now it decides to start acting up. Okay, so after a couple tries, I finally got it to come up. Uh, the removable disc is what you want to see, and what I like to do is go ahead and open it in my to view the files, basically. And there's your DCIM folder. Um, inside there is where your video files are stored. In the 100 DSCIM and open that up and there's the files. Or if all else fails just break out the old card reader and pull the files off that way. Transfer them right to the computer. Okay so yeah that's probably much easier just use the old card reader take the little 8 gig uh, micro SD card out of the sunglasses and just put it in the old uh, SD uh, slot there it was a little something like that and just put it in a card reader to pull the files off I think that's just a lot easier that way you're not messing with the camera and actually the way this thing is um, this plug it's probably more suited for recharging the battery instead of trying to pull the files off so but yeah right here is where the card goes the little micro SD card. I'll pull that out and show you. Goes in just like that. Yeah, I'm hitting the keyboard here. But yep, clicks right in just like that. And then take it out, just push it in, and there it is. Comes out and just Put in the old uh, card holder there and put in your card reader and just pull the files off. I think that's probably the best way to do it. And then transfer them into your editing software, whatever you use. And here's a shot of what they look like. It's uh, kind of sort of sporty, but you know, I think they're kind of obvious you know with the uh, controls on the side there so I don't know we'll give it a shot and see how it does and start making videos with this okay so one thing I'm discovering with the file as it's being recorded uh, it's saving it as a AVI file and my flip video camera records to an mp4 so I'm having difficulty converting the AVI to merge it with my video here so I guess as I'm learning as I'm going here uh, I'm gonna have to do separate videos uh, one driving or wearing the sunglasses and another separate video using my flip video camera here so um, that kinda sucks I mean I guess I can I'll have to look into some extra software or something perhaps to convert it to a usable uh, MP4 and see if I can get my flip video software to accept it and import it so I can merge it with my video files. So, yeah, it's just uh, learning as I go, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll just do a 
separate video of just the sunglasses and upload it direct, um, you know, pretty much unedited. So we'll see. All right, so that is my rough uh, review of the HD camera sunglasses that I got. Again, do some research um, on these. You know, there's several different models and brands out there. Uh, of course, I got a generic brand from China, and uh, obviously, as you can see in my review, that uh, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. They're still decent glasses. The video really does look fairly decent, even though it's a bit grainy. Um, you know, but overall, I think it'll serve my purpose. And again, you know, as for pulling the files off of the uh, the memory card, there, it's probably just best to have a uh, card reader and use your USB uh, port to just download the files onto your, uh, you know, onto your computer that way instead of straight from the sunglasses, because there's obviously some compatibility issues with it. So, but uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying these out and, uh, you know, doing some videos here in the near future with them, you know, to practice and see how it does. And again, I'll be using this when I go to my uh, next trip to Mexico so I can drive around and, you know, maybe not use my flip camera so much. But uh, again, you know, I'll be practicing and, you know, trying to hone my skills a little bit so you know bear with me but again you know that's my review and uh, uh, thanks for watching